Good evening. A shakeup in the West Valley is one of the state's oldest school districts will be forced to close three of its schools next year. The Glendale Elementary District Superintendent says the move is the result of years of discussions and forums with parents, the school board and community leaders. Good evening everyone, I'm Mark Curtis. And I'm Kariba Devine. As part of our Learning Curve series, Joe Dana explains the reason for the closures and tells us why it might be a sign of the future for other school districts. This is not a surprise. The school board voted unanimously a year ago to close the schools as part of a broader plan. They'll finish this school year as scheduled. The next year, students will be reassigned to nearby schools. For months, parents at Coyote Ridge Elementary have been coming to terms with a tough reality. The school is closing at the end of the year. I think it's really sad because, you know, our kids grew up here. This is our, our culture. This is our home ground. Coyote Ridge will be repurposed as a community services hub for the school district's families. Its students will be bused to another nearby school. It's all part of a multi-year plan by the district that closed two aging elementary schools last year and will close or repurpose three more schools at the end of this year. We need to be financially solvent. And the only way to do that is to make difficult decisions. And while they may be unpopular, they're necessary for the long-term sustainability of the community and the district. The district attributes declining enrollment numbers to three factors that are common forces across the valley. Lower birth rates since the Great Recession, affordable housing challenges, and competition from charter schools. Uh, it's a reality that we can't avoid. Uh, we're in leadership roles and we have to lead our districts. Statewide, most districts face declining enrollment. In 2018, the Sedona Oak Creek Unified School District closed an elementary school. In 2019, the Phoenix Elementary School District considered closing three schools before backing off the plan. At Scottsdale Unified, the board approved a restructure in January, transforming one elementary school from a K-8 through to a standalone middle school next year. At Glendale Elementary's district, leaders say open communication with parents was the key to making the transition go as smoothly as possible, doing what's necessary so the district can remain financially strong, serving as many students as possible in the future. We checked in with the state's largest district, Mesa Schools. They tell us leaders have discussed the possibility of consolidations during annual meetings, but say nothing's on the table, and they would bring the public into the conversation if it ever becomes a possibility. Joe Dana, 12 News.